uh, linear versus translational stuff, if, let's say we take this, it's become a bit blobby, let's say we take this mass. So we have a mass. So in linear, remember, linear or translational, linear or translational, objects have mass, right? Symbol M measured in kilograms. So this blobby object that I drew over here, which is something like this, okay, this, this is my mass. This has a mass, M. And the mass tells you how hard it is to move something or to accelerate it. Let's say just move. Okay, the bigger, bigger objects, they're harder to move. They're harder to move from zero. They're essentially harder to accelerate, let's say. So the mass measures how hard it is to accelerate something. If we think about the rotation of this object, so that would be just what we have here is we're thinking about just accelerating it. If we try to rotate it, then it depends where the mass is, how it's distributed, it also depends where the rotation axis is. So if we think about the rotation of that object, let's say rotation of the object, then we have this quantity called moment of inertia. And we use the symbol I. And this tells us, I tells us how difficult it is to rotate something. So if, for example, um, again, going back to the wheel, it's quite easy for me to rotate the wheel about this axis, about the center. But if I try to rotate it about the rim, it's a much bigger torque on my fingers because all of the wheel is moving about this point. So here's my fingers, if I hang it like that, this is the axis of rotation. I can't do that for very long because there's a lot, all the mass is over here. The mass is over here and the axis is here. So it's moving about that point. Whereas if I just hold it here and let it rotate, it's much easier. Okay, so it depends on the distribution of mass. And that distribution of mass is encompassed in this quantity called I which is the moment of inertia. So for example, for a wheel, so for a wheel, that's the one I just had up, if you rotate the wheel about the center, so rotate about center, if you rotate it about the center, then I is equal to one-half m r squared, where m is the mass of the wheel, and r is the radius of the wheel. So if I try to spin this wheel about the center, the moment of inertia, the difficulty of how to how hard it is for it to spin about its center is a half mr squared. But if I try to rotate this wheel, let's see if I've got enough space, about, let's say we take the same wheel, let's become a bit non round. Let's say we take the same wheel and we try to rotate that wheel about this point. then the moment of inertia now is actually 3 upon 2 m r squared, where m and r have the same meaning. So if I try to rotate it about here, it's much harder to rotate. It's much harder to get the thing to spin up. And that difficulty of how hard it is to rotate is contained in this quantity i, which, which will depend on the distribution. It also depends on where the rotation axis is.